Welcome to the Cold Kitchen! On today's episode, we have an internet recipe from our friend Jason Stenhouse on Twitter. We are making White Castle Stuffing. Mm. And a little segment we like to call Internet Chef. So for this recipe, uh, we are making stuffing with these ingredients. We have celery, sage, thyme, pepper, and White Castle burgers. I thought this was a super interesting recipe. We're a little bit past the uh, Thanksgiving sort of thing, but hey, maybe use it for next time. We're gonna take about 10 burgers and we're gonna chop them up. Now the recipe actually literally says tear them apart. <laughs> I'm not- Tear them? I'm not, I'm not an animal. I'm not gonna just tear these apart. Well, when it says tear them, how finely does it say to tear it them? It doesn't say. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. It doesn't say. Oh my God. Are we not going like with a chop or a chiffonade even? We're going chunky. Um, Honestly, if it was less than chunky, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell what ingredients were in the stuffing. So this is good. We got our bread in here, and then we're gonna add about a cup and a half of celery. Why is it just celery? Like, there's so many other flavors that go into stuffing. There are, but they're all in the White Castle already. So then we add some coarse black pepper, we add some sage, and we add some thyme. And oh my god, Whoa, it, actually, hey now. it actually smells like a really delicious sausage right now. It does. But, you know, it's stuffing, so you gotta get some liquid in there. We have a cup of Samsonite. Whoa, do you, do you now? Swanson, no. Samsonite. And then it spilled over the We gather. got some chicken stock. <laughs> Samsonite chicken stock. And then it goes in there. <laughs> and then you mix it up. Oh, it smells really great from here. It does, it smells amazing. Yeah, as far as the stuffing goes, I, I would be sold. Let's put it in our casserole dish. I still love the way it smells. Oh, it smells great actually. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes. And we're gonna see what it's like. <laughs> smells great. It looks like garbage, like all dressings do. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty interested to see what it's like. Looks hot as fuck. As a person that does not traditionally partake in dressing that much, and who doesn't really care about it, it's fine, whatever. I don't need a bunch of it. This is maybe one of the best dressings I've had. <laughs> there is something about having a little bit of crumble of meat in there that's really kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I think the ratio of all the seasonings is absolutely perfect. The texture, the flavor, everything about this is really pleasant. Mm. I could see this, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to this kind of dressing. Now, as a person who can appreciate stuffing, mm. and I think we've established that maybe you don't partake in it as much as others, mm -hmm. what would you give this as, uh, like, versus home style? Because we're, we're talking extremely processed here, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the processing is in the bun and the burger, mm -hmm. but all the rest of it really brings out a freshness to it, because you're using celery, that's just fresh celery, you're mm -hmm. using ground herbs and spices. Okay. I like it better than stovetop. Yeah, stovetop is the go-to, um, but if the, if it's like we're using the drippings and the giblets, are you are you like at that level where it's like... You're you're appreciating that stuff? No, you can't tell the fucking difference. The the herb profile is definitely stuffing, but 
sort of the mouthfeel and, and the the beef it, it comes across more as like a meatloaf. Mm-hmm. But those two things go together beautifully, I think. I think that it, it's real nice. I'd rather have this than a lot of stuff. I think this is great. It looks not great. Um, well, most stuffings don't look great. Uh, well... They're kind of a pile of shit. Well, it's like you get cubes of things mm-hmm. that would at least resemble a uh, hey. rough kibble. Hey, to be fair, <laughs> it told us to tear apart the burgers. Yeah. Not cube them. No. So there you go. Yeah. We're going to be judging this as though it were a stovetop stuffing, which mm-hmm. is kind of like a 5 out of 10. Might buy it again. Um, it is just like the passable threshold of yeah. a stuffing. The weird thing <clears throat> is, this is way more expensive than a stuffed up to is stuffing. Is it? Well, I mean, you're buying the burgers, Six right? White Castle burgers cost like $6. Yeah, that's I can tell you what's going on here that pisses me off so much. And it's the fact that the celery needs a lot of time to cook. If you're going to make the Holy Triumvirate, which is uh, celery, onions, and carrots. You're going to mix those in with some butter, and you're going to saute them, and you're going to make the basis of a lot of different things. Here, you can tell that the celery was not cooked enough to be soft enough to serve with the rest of what's ever going on here, which is a pasty mush. Mm-hmm. So the celery provides a lot of texture, a whole lot of texture. And flavor, and the rest of it is completely overcooked. It's insulting. I think if you did have some fresh onions and carrots in here, it would be a little less distracting, but it would still be pretty insulting. I think that this is um, just kind of two things coming together that don't belong. And... uh, Yeah, it's just like a a rough paste with a very fresh vegetable. And uh, that's like, that's pretty unforgivable. It just means that you cook something at the wrong time. But I like the rest of the flavors that go along with it. It's just, it's so unforgivable up to that point. And that's that's where I gotta leave it. It, It's it's Play-Doh plus a like a fresh kale or something something with a lot of bite and a lot of texture but that's the only thing that's in there and it's very lonely it does taste like a stuffing though very distinctly of a stuffing i think it's the time bringing it there but other than that i really can't approve of this thank you so much for joining us on this episode of internet chef mm-hmm. is it internet chef? Mm-hmm. ah boom got it first try Please like, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our merch shop and check me out over on twitch.tv forward slash Lofi Molasses where you can catch me playing video games of all different kinds. And uh, we will not be enjoying uh, this weird mishmash of dressing or stuffing. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Is it dressing or stuffing? It's dressing when it's in a casserole dish, it's stuffing when it's in a turkey's ass.